Welcome to Samsung's Judo. Today we're going to show you some nice uh, groundwork sweeps. Um, something which is uh, very cute and hopefully you'll enjoy them. Help your groundwork. Okay, this is the first technique we're going to do and this is what we call an action uh, technique. Uh, basically we're starting knee waza and sometimes uh, we're facing each other which is a very common situation. But okay then, lounges forward and forcing you to go, to go back. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to use that reaction to help myself do the first technique. So from here, Uki pushes me, turns Uki over to one side, and from here. Now once I've got him over, I'm controlling this arm here, because his instinct was to try to roll away, but I need to control this arm. Push the arm down, control, lie onto the arm so you're controlling it, and then from here, you turn around, and we have uh, a nice uh, osakomi. So, what am I doing? Basically, as I'm going backwards, my foot will come across here. My knee out, and I've got my foot between my opponent. So the momentum of the, his movement will drop on my leg. Now this can only be done in movement. It's not something that you can just do from down here, because once he collapses his weight on you, you will not have the power to lift him up. But in movement, I will have 100% control. So from here, even if I'm on my bottom here, and Uki comes, drop here, take him over the top. Push this arm down and lie onto the arm. So if he tries to get out now, he can't. If he rolls towards me, thank you, that's perfect. Number of techniques I can do from here. I could pivot into Yoko Shogatomi. Or from here, I could pivot into Kezagatomi. Or I could do Kazuri Kami Shogu from here. From here, pivot through. And then I need to just fight to gain control of his right arm. So what am I doing exactly? I could be on my knees. I need to get my leg between myself and Uki. And as I'm falling, I have momentum and I have rhythm. As it comes over, I use my hands as well to twist Uki, so I do like a steering wheel action, then I push him over to my left, up, and cross there, very powerful, and then the next thing is to cut off this arm, control, push the arm down, because, because he's got a grip, his arm will bend, because his arm is bent, it becomes weak and useless, so he's trapped, and then it's up to me what I want to do from here, put it through, I'm going to Good Yoko Shogatami. Yeah, give it through. Kezagatami. It's very nice, uh, which gets you out of trouble. And this is when someone lounges at you. Now, it can be done both ways. I can either get my left foot here, this side, or I may respond by getting my foot this side, and I'll pivot and take him that other direction. So it's always good to use both techniques. So there's a little practice that we do, which is you just go in here, here, so you can get your opponent, and you can push you here, and I like to push back as well, and then other side, push here, push here, push here, very good, here, and then flick him over. So that's a good way of developing movement, timing, and the muscles of your leg. The second technique we're gonna do is very similar. Instead of putting my leg this way, I'm gonna turn my leg this way. Again, getting my leg in between myself and my attacking opponent. Very similar technique. As I go down, I put my knee in this way, and then I kick him up onto the same direction. Once again, I control the arm, so he's all mine, and then from here, I'll compare it through for yet a different technique, Muni Gatami, Yoko Shogatami, Keza Gatami. It's up to you how you finish. What's important is that you're learning to use your legs in Gatami Waza. And reflexes and responses uh, it's very, very important. Instincts. If you practice enough, your body will respond enough. So, good way to do this is again, it's the same what you call me, 
which is right foot, left foot, right, same leg, left. So you decide well, which movement you want to do. There are certain elements when we're doing judo contest or randori that makes us respond in a certain way. So you decide which one you find stronger. So let's just go over them again. As I said, it's, I could be on my bottom, Uki lounges at me, but more likely, most times in judo, we would face each other upright here. So as Uki lunges at me, I will get my leg in place, turn him over, and then gain control once again. And I can use both techniques to my advantage. As I said, if you're slow, it's not gonna work. But if you use the momentum, as it pushes me, very strong. And that's the next step. Control his arm. So his mind is not gonna go nowhere. Whatever he does, I've got control. Very nice groundwork technique. Like it to go away. Practice it, develop it, and then hopefully you get to use it if you react. Many things flash by our eyes in judo. The problem is if we don't practice enough, our instincts don't work. Muscle memory, brain memory, Everything happens instinctively. Judo runs through your veins and you have to be very impulsive and very quickly. Like blinking of the eyes. It's got to be that fast. Something happens, if you freeze, he will end up on top of you. If I do nothing and he's going to get me there, then he's going to start getting advantage. If someone tries to throw you and you don't move out the way, you're going to get thrown. Someone tries to hold you down, you don't get out the way, he's going to hold you down or make things difficult. But if I respond by avoiding, that's why we have counter techniques, and this is a counter to somebody lounging at you, trying to take you backwards, I'm not gonna freeze, I have a tool under my legs and I'm gonna just flick him over. So I'll just do both of them one more time so you can see, and we'll finish, okay? So, from here. <coughs> Both techniques very similar and they're both very effective.